Life channel. I am Elizabeth Thompson and today we are getting started with a series talking about some of the foundational things we want to teach to our children, especially in their early years. We're going to be talking about obedience, respect, honesty, and responsibility. But the more I thought about those four things, the more I thought and was honestly reminded by my very, very wise mother <laughs> that before we can talk about those things, we need to talk about love. And it's funny, we sometimes forget to talk about love. We assume it. We think, well, duh, I'm going to teach my kids that I love them. They know. So let's move on to the important stuff. But love has got to be the foundation of everything we do in our families, the foundation of every part of our parenting. Um, two weeks ago, my little two-year-old came up to me. We were sitting on the couch and she goes, I love you, mommy. And I just melted. It was the first time she had ever said, I love you. And I just, you know, ah! and she wraps her fat little arms around my neck and squeezes and squeezes. And I said, oh, I love you too. And she looked at me again with this very grown up look on her face, just sort of, this is, we're having a moment, mommy. And she goes, I love you. And she did this like five, six times. I love you and give me another hug. I love you too. Gave me another hug. And it was just the, the pinnacle of my parenting, you know, all of my parenting moments right there with her. And I know I'll never forget it. Um, she probably will, but I never will. And yet, even though we had that little moment as, as she's a two year old, we can't stop having those moments as she gets older. We've got to continue to express our love to each other. And with my older kids, I've got to continue having those moments with them of we're connected. We love each other. I want you to know how much I love you. Um, I love in Psalm 103 verse 8, it says, The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. It goes down and says, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. God's love for us is extravagant. It's kind of ridiculous. It's so high, you can't measure it. And he's the model for how we should love our kids. Sometimes I think we worry, well, I don't want them to get a big head. I don't want to love them too much. I'm going to give them enough that they're secure and they're confident, but you know, I don't want a cocky kid. And so we sort of withhold some of the things that we could say or some of the um, physical affection that we could give them out of a sort of strange desire to keep them humble. That's not how God is with us. He's over the top. He loves us too much. He loves us when we're terrible. He loves us when we throw it back in his face or we don't care. He loves, he gives, he's generous, he's unashamed. Um, he's extravagant and that's the way I want to love my kids and the thing is when we love our kids that way then we are confident that we can make withdrawals on that love we've put in the bank as needed uh, we can parent our kids really strongly we can be firm we can lay down the law we can punish we can do all the things that the other side of parenting that we need to do because we know they absolutely are confident and secure in our love. Um, sometimes I think when we hesitate, if, if we are finding ourselves hesitating frequently in our parenting, ooh, I don't wanna be too strong, ooh, I wonder if this is gonna hurt their confidence, it may be because we feel like, hey, I haven't put enough in. They're not feeling secure with me. Um, one of my very favorite parenting scriptures that isn't actually a parenting scripture is 1 Peter 4 verse 8. And it says, um, above all, let me find it here. Above all, love each other deeply because love covers over a multitude of sins. I quote that scripture to myself all the time because there are so many times that I sin against my kids. I make a mistake. I'm too hard. I lose my temper. I'm not slow to anger. I'm not abounding in love in that particular moment. Or, uh, you know, I'm impatient. I'm distracted, whatever the sin may be. And I feel terrible, of course. But this scripture gives me so much comfort that if I love my kids deeply, 
it's going to cover over all those many mistakes that I'm going to make throughout a long lifetime together with my children. And that can give you a sense of peace too. Um, I encourage you to cultivate in your family a really affectionate atmosphere where hugs are, hugs are abundant, um, lots of physical affection. Uh, it's easy to do that when our kids are toddlers and they're so squishy and chubby and you just want to eat them up. Um, <laughs> But as they get older, I, we forget sometimes to keep giving those hugs, especially I think with boys, we forget, or with kids who, who aren't as comfortable hugging. My oldest daughter, she's like me, I'm a little reserved. I don't always, my first reaction to people is, hi, let me throw my arms around you. It's more like, hey, how you doing? I have to be aware with her. She still needs those hugs. I still need those hugs, even though it's not naturally who I am. Let's cultivate an environment where we say how much we love each other and why. And, and it's a little embarrassing and it's a little awkward, but we go ahead and we say the words. Sometimes I like to grab my kids and say, hey, look me in the eyes. I want to tell you something. I think you are the most wonderful six-year-old in the universe. And do you want to know why? Because you're funny and because you can do a one-handed cartwheel and because you are sweet to your sister and because you like to snuggle me. And I'll just list all these silly things, all the things that I love about her um, or whichever kid I'm encouraging. And they might try to squirm away and act embarrassed and uncomfortable, but they always walk away with this extra little something in their step. They're standing a little taller, they're smiling a little bigger, and later on in the day, They'll, it makes me cry. They'll give me this secret little smile like, I know you love me, Mom. We had a moment. I love you. And, and that's what I want to continue to give to them all of their life. My dad is the king of this. Um, I am 38 years old, and yet my dad still, when I'm around him, He'll do these sneak attack bear hugs. You'll be walking through the kitchen. <laughs> You'll feel these big arms fold around you and he'll just hug and hug and hug and hug and he'll whisper something sweet in your ear about how much he loves you and thinks you're amazing. And I still need that as a grown woman. And I got that all, my, all through my childhood and my awkward teenage years. That did so much for my confidence. It, it made me always know that I was loved at home. It showed me the way that God loves me, um, and it taught me how to give that kind of love to my kids. Let's be those kind of parents. When you give that love in abundance, when your kids absolutely know how, how loved they are and how liked they are uh, by their parents, it's going to allow you to do all the other things that you need to do in your kids' lives, the teaching, the training, the rebuking, the follow through, all those other things that God calls us to do. Coming up next, we'll talk about obedience, respect, honesty, and responsibility. Uh, I'll see you next time on the Lizzie Life channel. Thanks for joining me.